Hey there, my name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode, and today I wanted to do a follow-up video on my last one where I talked about installing CloudRun. Now, in my last video, we installed File Pizza as uh, an app through CloudRun, and we were able to share files between uh, my computer and my phone uh, in a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized way. But now I want to install something even more cool. Let's install Git-T and uh, ditch GitHub for good. So if you haven't checked out the previous video where we installed CloudRun through Linode's one-click app service, make sure you check out that video because that video details how to get to this point in the installation process for Git-T. This is a really cool way of self-hosting your own Git repository uh, in the cloud. Uh, CloudRun makes that really simple. So you can see here, Git-T is going to be right there. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we will install it from here. And let's say uh, Git-T. Let's just say git.linodians.net. And we're gonna allow all the users from this CloudRon instance, and we'll hit install. And this will take a few moments to get git t installed. And there we go, you can see we have uh, git t installed as a CloudRun app. So let's click on that. This app is set to authenticate with the CloudRun user directory. CloudRun users can log in and use it immediately. This app is pre-set up with an admin account. Uh, use the local authentication source from logging in as admin. The credentials are root and change me. All right. So now we have access to GitT, and let's go ahead and uh, log in with our admin account. So. The admin account is going to be root and the password is going to be change me and we will go ahead and change those. Uh, but now we are actually logged in. So uh, you can see that there's nothing here. We don't have any repositories yet. And you can see that we have one user and that's going to be the root user. Uh, so what we wanna do now is actually open up um, our terminal. And here we go, here's my terminal. And we're gonna CD into our uh, source directory. We're going to make a new directory. We're going to say test repo. And then we're going to cd into test repo. And we'll just uh, touch readme.md. We'll nano readme. And we'll just say hello world. We'll save that. And then uh, we're going to get in it. So then we're gonna, over here, we're gonna create a new repository and let's just call this test. And um, we'll just leave everything blank here. And you can see it gives us a few instructions here. So we're gonna get uh, our in it here. We're going to Let's do, uh, let's follow these instructions. Git add readme. Git commit m. And we'll just say first commit. We will get remote add origin https git.linodians dot net root and then test dot get and then it would be git push u origin and we'll have to type in our uh, password our username and password so that's going to be root and then it will be uh, change me because we haven't changed it yet and there we go you can see that we've actually pushed to the remote and then if we refresh the page here you can see we have our hello world. Now let's go ahead and nano read me again and we'll uh, make a change here. Uh, update the user password and we'll save it. So let's get add read me again and we'll go ahead and get commit, whoops m second commit and then we will finally get push 
U origin again. And you can see that we refresh the page and now we have update the user password. So you'll wanna make sure that you actually update the user password <laughs> uh, before you uh, uh, start adding and, and removing and managing your files here. Now, this is a bit of a shorter video, but uh, I think it kind of proves the point. Cloud Run is pretty nice. And if you're familiar with uh, Git and the Git protocol, then uh, you'll probably know exactly why you would wanna self-host your own uh, uh, Git repository so yeah, that's gonna do it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy this kind of video. Let me know by hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. It really helps us out here. Uh, but that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.